This is Nick with logosbynick.com, and in today's tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can take a design and mock it up onto a t-shirt as if it were printed onto the product using GIMP. And I'll also be showing you how to create this in a variety of different shirt colors as well. So let's go ahead and get started here in GIMP. Uh, the image I'm using here, I will have a link to this blank t-shirt image in the description of the video. So go ahead and open this up with GIMP. And the first thing I want to do is just take my design and click and drag it into the canvas. So I'm going to open up my folder over here. This is actually, uh, you're not going to see this because it's on the other screen, but I'm just going to take my design and just click and drag it onto the uh, canvas there. And it's going to add it as a new layer. Now, ideally what you want to use is a .png graphic that has transparent, uh, that has an alpha channel and transparency around it. Like you see here with my design, there's nothing, there's no border, there's no background or anything like that. That's the sort of design you'll want to use. If you don't have anything like that on hand to use at the moment, you can just use this design as well. I'll put a link in the description to this uh, so you can use that as well. So now that we've done that, what I want to do is take the move tool and I just want to position this over the area where we want it to go. And I want to shrink this down. So I'm going to grab the, uh, the uh, transform tool by holding shift and pressing T on the keyboard. Shift T is going to grab the unified transform tool and I'm going to take uh, if you come over here to the corner right here, you're going to see two boxes, one large box and one smaller box that's rotated around so that it's more like a diamond. You want to make sure you have the large box selected and not that little diamond. And you just want to click and drag it and then hold control and shift on the keyboard and just scale the design down a little bit so that it fits onto the shirt better. And then when you're done, you can just press enter on the keyboard. Now let me grab the move tool again and just move this over a little bit. Uh, I might actually have to shrink that down a little more. So let me just shrink that down again real quick. That should be good right there. I go back to the move tool. And what I want to do now is if, if you want to mock this up onto a white t-shirt, it's actually pretty easy. All you have to do now is come over here to the layer mode. Let me expand this a little bit so that it's legible. Where it says mode, you click on this drop down and choose uh, darken only. And there you go, it looks like it's mocked up onto the t-shirt. You can see the shadows going along the creases in the shirt following along in the design as well. Now let's say you're selling this shirt and you're selling it in a variety of different colors like red, blue, yellow, and so on like that. You're gonna to wanna to show a product mock-up of this shirt in different colors as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make variations in different colors. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the original layer right here, the blank t-shirt layer. And I'm going to click this button right here that says create a new layer and add it to the image. And we want everything here set to default. We're going to use uh, transparency. Go ahead and click OK. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this layer with whatever color I want the shirt to be. So I'm going to come over here to the color picker and I'm going to choose a color that I'd like the shirt to be. Like for example, we'll go with blue. We'll go with something like that. Go ahead and click OK. And then we'll go to edit fill with foreground color. And that's gonna fill that entire layer with the color blue. And what we're gonna do now is come over here to mode and change that to multiply. Now, what, you, what you'll see is it made the shirt blue, but it altered the appearance of the design. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out this area of the blue layer so that the design continues to show through the way it should, uh, the way it should show through. So I'm gonna click on the original, not the original, the, uh, the top layer right here where our graphic is. And I'm going to right click that and go to alpha to selection to create a selection going around that. And then I'll click on the colored layer right here, which is the, uh, the blue layer. And then I'll just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of it. Or if you're using a Mac, I believe you pressed uh, edit and clear. And once you've done that, you can go to select none. And as you can see, we've, we've, uh, we, we've achieved the effect that we're going for. We've taken our design and mocked it up onto a blue colored t-shirt. Now let's say you want to add another color. You take this design, you export it as blue.png, you upload that, and now what you want to do is you want to create a yellow, uh, a yellow variation. Come back over here to the color selector, choose yellow as your foreground color. Again, making sure you're on this color layer right here. Edit, fill with foreground color, and there you go, now it's yellow. But uh, we have to punch out this area as well once again. So I'm gonna right click on this logo layer, alpha to selection, click on the color layer and then press delete on the keyboard, select 
none. And there you go. So that's how you can go about doing that. That's how you can create t-shirt mock-ups with your designs using GIMP. If you haven't done so already, please consider joining the Logos by Nick mailing list in order to receive email alerts whenever a new tutorial is posted. Your information won't be sold to or shared with anyone else, and you'll never receive any kind of spam or promotional emails from me whatsoever. The only time you will ever receive an email is when a new tutorial is posted and ready to watch, and you'll get to watch it on the Logos by Nick website without any third-party advertisements interrupting your learning experience. So go ahead and check the link in the description for that information if you're interested. If you have any questions, let me know, and as always, thanks for watching.